Good morning, really, really. And right now it is about 7 a.m. There is kind of iffy right now. Iffy. Iffy. Um, I was gonna bring out the port boat, but I didn't know if it was gonna be worth it taking it taking it down, putting it together. I said the weather's been kind of iffy. And it's been raining on and off, so I don't wanna um, waste no time. I'm gonna go ahead and use the boat that I've been using in my videos. Hopefully you enjoy this video. This is gonna be a catch and cook. I heard bass are kind of like a salty fish. It's a real fishy fish. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna soak it in some salt water before I cook it. That was, that was recommended to me by one of my good friend of mine. Um, like I said, cause I never had bass before and he has. So obviously he knows what he's talking about. See you on the water. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and use some top water for a little bit. I've seen a few bass jumping on top water this morning. Um, we're doing a catch and cook, guys. Can't can't wait. I wanna definitely try out this fish. I heard it's good. But what I wanna know is what's the best keeper size for eating a fish? Um, I would say maybe anywhere around one and a half pounds to two pounds maybe three pounds i think three pounds might be way too big but um you know i just want to know what's the best keeper size or in y'all's opinion what what is the best keeper size right now i'm throwing a gary yamamoto uh top water it looks like kind of resembles a frog i've used it in this video in these videos before so and it's always successful so that's what I'm using right now. And I'm just trolling along these uh, these docks and uh, around the bank areas because right now they're jumping around the banks. And of course, you already know I'm gonna hit that glass dock. That's my favorite fishing spot. One of my favorite fishing spots. Um, on this lake because you're always guaranteed a fish and a good one too Right here on this glass dock Yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. Oh, we're on. They like that top water, though. Keeper size, keeper size, eating size. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Don't jump, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump off. That's perfect size. That's perfect size right there. Oh yeah. Right on the lid. Right on the lid, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that, they like that top water, man. They like that top water action. Put them in the cooler. Go ahead and wash this fish down. I'm about to cook them up. Keepers right here. It was probably about a pound and a half. It was about a pounder. So what we're about to start doing is cutting up the fish and filleting it. This is probably my, my second time filleting a fish. Make sure you have a nice sharp 
fillet knife and he is still kicking a little bit i mean i'm pretty sure he's dead it's probably just the nerves let's get to it Okay, so this is from the first fish that I just cut up. Now we're gonna go ahead and fillet this one. Guys, this is my second time filleting the fish, so sorry if I didn't do it the exact way that you would do it, or I guess like the proper way to fillet fish, but I just watched a video on YouTube and I'm kind of going off of that. So this guy is still breathing. All right, so now what we are going to do is we're gonna go ahead and wash the fish. You wanna do cold, cold water. You don't wanna do warm or hot because then the fish will start cooking. I'm gonna use that recipe, French Red Hot with some flour. We're not gonna use the egg because the, the French Red Hot, that's what takes in place of the egg. Put that down on everything. <coughs> All right, y'all. So I think we are ready to dice it up, put it in the buffalo sauce, mix it with the flour, and throw it in the hot oil. All right, so what we're going to do is take a fork, mix it around that thing. Transfer it over to the flour, right? They already smell good. And I'm sure it doesn't take but a minute. So don't leave them on there too, too long. Cause that oil is hot already. All right, let's go ahead and flip them. Don't take but a few minutes for them. 
Yeah. Little buffalo fish nugget. Alright, first batch. Buffalo bass nuggets. We're gonna add some uh, fresh lime juice to that thing. Can't go wrong with the lime juice. Here goes nothing. Hey, hot boy. Bass tastes so good. Now, I don't know if it's just a bass or the recipe, but, oof. Nice crunch. The lime juice just set it off. Not fishy at all. I did not do the uh, soaking salt water because I really wanted to see what the bass tastes like straight out the water after just cleaning it. Oh my God. Perfecto. All right, so my daughter's gonna do the taste test. What does it taste like? Chicken? Get a big bite. There you go. What do you think? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. It looks like candy. Tastes like candy? Is it good? Or you don't like it? I like it. You like it? 